Okay, I thought I would just pop on here and um, someone was asking me about um, the elastic string to make beaded bracelets. I was um, recommending that she not use it um, for because it just doesn't last. But I thought I would pull out this old project that's um, about 8, 10 years old. All right, so um, pretty, pretty, really pretty uh, Swarovski and some lapis. And I always string mine with fishing filament. Now this is 10 pound fishing line, all right? It goes through the tiny little beads. It's just as uh, thick in diameter as the official, trying to get as close as possible, beading wire for seed beads. And this is specifically purchased for necklaces. Now, look what happened to it. This was all one necklace and then I lost the other side of it. But this literally fell apart, okay? And it's just not very durable over time. Now the crimp is still there. You know, it's still attached here. But um, what happens is, is that it breaks in the middle. And that's just really not acceptable. Now, here's the difference between that wire. Now, this is the same wire that I just showed you, all right? And this is the 10 pound fishing line. See, it's transparent. I hope you can see the difference here. This one's a wire, and this is two lines of fishing wire, uh, fishing line, sorry. All right, so this is all intact, and this is held together by fishing line, okay? It's not going anywhere. You can bend it, you can flex it, you could do whatever, but if you do the same thing with this, as it was all strung through here and to the other side that is down here, it fell apart. Actually, it was on this side. And so, um, yeah, it, it, it just was, it's terrible. So she was telling me she was wanted to use elastic. All right, let me show you what happens with this elastic. I don't even know if this will show up here. <laughs> Literally, this was one little string. Okay, it was about an inch and a half for so long. And just when I was getting ready to start this video, look what happens to it. Oh, let's see if I can do this right on camera. Okay, it crumbles right in your hand. Now, do you want that happening with your bracelet over a period of time? Now, I don't have the brand that I used, but trust me, this is the elastic beading um, stuff that they sell to string up elastic bracelets. This is, this is crazy. Integrity is like zero. So I will personally never, ever use this again and why I will... From now on, whatever I do in my beading projects, I will always use fishing line. And this is just 10 pound, I mean, think about it. If it's strong enough to, to tug around a 10 pound fish, well, I'm sure it can hold together a beaded piece of jewelry. So you don't have to get 10 pound, it's just what I had on hand. And you can go and, um, <laughs> It will last you like 10 lifetimes, unless you're doing this for a commercial thing. I mean, you can get a lot of it for very, very little money, whereas the elastic is not cheap. I don't know. I think the last time I looked, it was like for something for, I don't know, 10 feet or something like that. It's probably more now. And then the beading wire um, is just as expensive. And this was actually a full necklace set. 
Okay, so in other words, this came with the beading wire in a set with uh, crimping beads, the clasps, and all of that. And I'm pretty sure I either got this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby a while back. Um, but it is, it just doesn't, no, it does not fit the test of time or pass the test of time. So I thought I would get on here and show her what I was talking about. Um, I also told her that if she wanted to secure the ends um, of the, whatever she was using with this, um, and you wanted to solidify it, this is a good thing. This is baking soda, all right? You put a little dab of whatever you're gonna do to try to fix it. You tie your knot, you put this on it, and then you uh, put a little baking soda on it, wait a few seconds for it to dry, and it's permanent. So um, in this case, I was telling her to string, um, string the elastic and then put in increments different types of glue she was gonna use and leave it strung up in an elastic thing and then check it in a few days or a week or two weeks and then try to pull it. If it breaks apart, well then you know that's exactly what your jewelry is gonna do. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful, Sandy. So, all right, talk to you later, bye.